Hey, it stinks in there. Oh, right, is that you, is it? I'd be in serious trouble if that smell was me, Les. In outback New South Wales, 70 kilometres from the nearest town, Bushman, Rod and Les are on the hunt. I reckon a snake's got in here or something, got up under something and died. In the fierce heat, the stench of a dead animal has saturated the Bushman's camp, making living inside unbearable. The man is not real happy about the smell. Yeah, it's all right, nothing there. Oh, oh yeah, it's gotten worse in here since this morning. Oh. She'd have bloody hit me with a pick handle if I'd uh, gone to work and left that smell there. Oh, bloody stink coming out of here. Jesus. What this is, this is our air conditioner for summer. All this side of the claim I've worked, it's all, all mined out. So the air conditioner sucks the cold air up from underground and blows it in here. Something's gotten down one of the old shafts and died, and the smell's bloody horrible. So I'm going to have to climb down this old mine here and, and see what, uh, what it is. I'm not real happy about going underground here because this is really dangerous ground, this little field. I haven't been down there for years, so I don't know what it's going to be like, but I know it's not going to be good. What's it look like down there? Bloody awful. Oh, I don't want to do this. The ground here is very unstable. It's very wet. Jesus. The walls start to dry out, and as they dry out, they shrink, and as they shrink, they develop these big cracks. And all this is just the walls that are caved in. But if you're walking past when one of these big rocks come down, it's definitely going to ruin your day. You found anything yet? I can't smell too much, but I don't think it's down this end. Knowing what some mines go like, pieces falling out the walls and stuff like that, or the roof falling in, you do worry and uh, try and keep a check on him. Real dangerous mine, this. We don't work it anymore for that reason. The smell's starting to get a bit worse, so we might be getting a bit closer. <laughs> Jesus. It's a kangaroo. Oh. Poor bastards come down here and landed straight on one of the steel posts we've got. Drop the bag down. Yeah, mate, drop it down. Here she comes. I just wanted to get in, get it, and get out. I didn't want to hang around down there too long. For the smell or for the danger of the mine. Oh, bleh. Oh, righto! Same through the head, Les. Hole. Hole. Yeah. It'd be pretty close. We reckon that the exploratory holes that we're looking for are a couple of metres that way. I'll just have to move in a second, but it's looking all right in, in that section there, mate. Rod must use all his 40 years' experience to make the two-ton machine delicately slice the earth. I would have thought it was on this direction. We keep saying we're looking for, for nine inches. What we mean by that is one of them, which is a nine-inch exploratory hull. They're hunting a group of long-lost exploratory hulls, rumoured to hold good opal. That's what we're looking for. The three over there that drilled up colour 20 years ago. But Rod and Les have been digging in the wrong direction. Bring this right forward and lay it forward. We were sort of going in that way because we were following the, a nice seam and we actually had to swing around about 45 degrees. Having struggled to find any good opal for months and running out of fuel and food, the Bushmen need their luck to change. We can sure do with a payday at the moment, the way things are going, so we're really hoping that this will be it. If we don't hit it soon, it's more goat stew and, and just scabbing to try and get diesel to go back underground and keep on doing what we're doing. Shift your bloody machine out the road. Well, that sounds a bit excited. No, it is. Exciting. 
You got the little heart of flutter now. It better be good, I'm telling you. Whoa! There she is. Look at that. Not bad, bloody black. We're finding opal. It's not big money, but it's real good trace. If you're not finding gem opal, this is the next best thing to it because it's it's a really good sign that you're leading up to something. For once, Les, for once, the stories appear to be right. It was in the truth section, not the fiction section. We might suck this out so I can get in here properly, mate, because it is continuing there. I might be able to undercut it with the digger. You reckon you can pass us the jack, Emma, Les? Yeah, right, eh? There's a bit of bloody purpley blue stuff here in the wall. I've got a seam coming down there. I've got another seam coming down there. And then I've got a horizontal coming down here. And where it all meets, that, that's generally where you find colour. You better get the lid off the colour tin. We're going to need it, I think. I'm getting that feeling. You got the feeling? I've got the bloody feeling, mate. Well, you got your hand on it. Oh, bloody I beautiful. can see that from here. That's, yeah, look that's got, yeah, it's, it's got to be good. This is just getting better and better. There? Yeah. yeah. Where's the other half? Up here. After years of finding just enough to survive, the Bushman's opal drought appears to be over. I reckon, Liz, that this is going to be a payday. I oh, know the baked bean cupboard's nearly empty. Yeah. Oh, man, it's and everywhere. I'm scared to dig it out, Les. Hang on. It's been that long. You want me to put the dry under it? Or nah, what? it's too big for that. Oh, man. Digging colour out of the wall. There's no better feeling. For Rod and Les, opal fever has struck again. When you got the opal bug bad, it's the joy you get looking into it. Something about the colours do something to your soul. It's just so pretty. The Bushmen have unearthed high quality black opal, mainly medium value blue green on an intense black base. They have almost 400 grams with an estimated value of $20,000. Taking their season total to over $30,000. I reckon there's bigger things to come, you know. If this is the edge of it, you'd imagine what the good oh, stuff would yeah, be like. Be bloody river in there if that's, this is only the edge. I'm thinking we're going to hit it in this claim. This might be the, the claim that gets us some, all we want.